Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this Corsair Hydro Series H100i closed loop liquid CPU cooler. Couple things to note before getting into the box, you do get Corsair Link built into the hardware. Uh, this enables you to adjust your fan speed or lighting, monitor your coolant temperature using the free Corsair Link dashboard software download. A couple fan specs. Uh, you get two 120 millimeter SP120L uh, fans, and these are low noise pressure optimized, uh, optimized fans. And you get a fan speed of 2700 RPM, airflow of 77 CFM, and noise level of 37.68 decibels. One last thing. So it's compatible with Intel LGA 1155, 1156, 1366, and 2011 sockets, as well as uh, AMD, AM2, AM3, and FM1 sockets. Here's everything that comes in the box. We have the liquid cooler itself, but I will go over that in just a bit. Uh, first, a look at the accessories. We have your two 120 millimeter um, SP120L fans with their three pin connectors. And on this end, some documentation. Here's your warranty against defects and some notifi uh, notification for Aussie consumers. Uh, so I look at Corsair's other products. And here is uh, some technical support information and please do not return the product to the store. And of course, your quick start guide. Now for some cables. This is your Corsair Link cable. This end plugs into any USB 2.0 uh, port on your motherboard, and this end onto your water block. And you get two of these fan power cables, uh, so you can plug in four fans for a push-pull config, and these are four pin connectors, so that means you can plug in PWM fans. And here's a bag of your mounting screws for your fan screws Intel and AMD, some washers, as well as uh, thumb screws. I have laid out some uh, screws here for you. This is for the Intel LGA 2011 socket setup, uh, LGA 1155 and 1156. And this is the thumb screw and the AMD screw uh, for your Intel setup. Now over here we have very awesome magnetic mounting brackets for your Intel and AMD. And your Intel backplate for 1366, right now it's on 1366, and push this over for 1155 and 1156 sockets. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to mount this. It's actually quite easy, but let me just move this around so you can see. Since it's magnetic, it just hops on. Give me a second, like this. And AMD as well, it's also magnetic. Sorry, haha, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, it is this way, boom, there we have it. Here's a look at the water cooler. This is a dual radiator and it measures 122 millimeters this way, 275 millimeters along this edge and it is 27 millimeters thick. Um, oops. And uh, you do get a greater surface area for better cooling and aluminum fins. Now moving on, we do get some uh, thick uh, tubing for durability and it is also very flexible so it should be easy to install. A look at some connectors, your three pin connector that plugs onto your motherboard and your SATA power that plugs into your power supply. Now for the water block, let me just go ahead and ha ha ha, okay, peel this piece off here. This is where your uh, Corsair link is built in and on this side we have your connectors for your uh, fan splitters. Go ahead and uh, plug one in for you, just like this. Oops. And on this side is where you plug in your uh, USB cable, Corsair Link USB cable, just like this. And finally, on the bottom, we have your copper cold plate and pre-applied thermo paste. That wraps up our overview on this Corsair Hydro Series H100i closed loop liquid CPU cooler. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.